Hey YouTube, it's ACU, and today I wanted to talk to you guys about the latest in the world of jailbreaking. We haven't talked since iOS 9.3.1 was released and some stuff has gone on, so I'm not really going to actually touch on any of the older content that I've actually mentioned in previous videos. If you wanna get caught up and you're not familiar with what's going on right now or with what's been going on recently, then just be sure to check out my iOS 9.3.1 jailbreak update playlist. I will have it linked on your screens now via the cards. It is also down below in the more info for your convenience. So check those out to get caught up. Next, if you're interested in possibly winning a brand new iPhone SE or the new 9.7 inch iPad Pro, both of which were released last week, then just be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up. Also stick around because in a little bit, I'm going to be mentioning exactly what to do to win one of these awesome new devices. But remember, just be sure to rate this video up and share it around. It's crucial for the giveaway. All right, let's get into this. I wanted to talk about something first that so many of you have asked me about that I've been purposefully avoiding or not going too into depth on intentionally. I did touch on it in my last video discussing iOS 9.3.1 and its release. Check that out if you missed it. But essentially, so many of you have asked me about this specific individual who claims to have created a jailbreak. I'm here to tell you that he hasn't. Everything this guy has said is an absolute lie. I'm not going to mention his name right now just because there's so much misinformation and confusion surrounding it that I do not want to perpetuate his name and spread it even further. But those of you who are familiar with him will know who I'm talking about. He essentially said he had a jailbreak and that he was going to release something. He himself was so toxic that he even insulted the creator of Cydia himself, Sorik, a number of times, not only publicly, but he also did it in private and then posted the pictures of his conversation with Sorik publicly. And and guess what? Sorek was nothing but nice to him, and he was nothing but rude. It doesn't stop there, though. This guy's story has changed so many times since he initially claimed that he was working on and that he had a jailbreak. Initially, he was going to release a jailbreak utility for an older firmware. Then, of course, it kept getting bumped up with each new firmware release. He said he was going to issue it for iOS 9.3.1. Then, of course, April Fool's Day rolled around, and guess what? He said that he actually wasn't going to release it and that he sold his jailbreak exploits to China at a lower cost with the stipulation that they would roll it into the next jailbreak for a public release. Guys, don't believe anything he says. He has absolutely no credit or merit in the world of jailbreaking, which is definitely required to be believable at this point. Point. Remember, other individuals such as Luca Tedesco who have actually contributed to the jailbreak community and to the world of jailbreaking at large, including new names like Loki Hart, who actually helped with the last iOS 9.1 jailbreak, are trusted individuals. He has not given anything to the world of jailbreaking, and I don't care what you say, screenshots are not proof of a completed jailbreak. He's just saying this to kind of save any reputation that he may have attempted to create, but remember, he never actually did because he hasn't contributed to anything at all. The only way that he can save face at this point is to have a new jailbreak release from either Taiji or Pangu and have whichever team ends up releasing it give him credit for exploitation discovery, which at this point the chances of that happening are slim to none. That's all I'm going to say on the subject. Don't expect anything from him. I'm sorry if you got your hopes up. I've said a number of times throughout my videos over the past few months that he is fake. I said it from day one and I'll say it now, we can't expect anything from him. Now we're going to be discussing another individual who doesn't release jailbreak utilities himself but has contributed to the creation or the release of jailbreaks in the past, most notably the Pangu jailbreak for iOS 9 through up to 9.0.2. His name is Luca Tedesco. He was back at it semi-recently following iOS 9.3.1's release. He claimed that it was indeed jailbreakable using iOS 9.3 exploits. Now I don't have it right now, but I'm going to try to find it and overlay it for you on your screens now. Essentially, he claims that iOS 9.3.1 is pretty much exactly the same 
as iOS 9.3 because guess what? It only fixes that minor issue where select devices were having random crashing and freezing issues when tapping on web links after downloading third-party applications that used overly large deep linking files. So that's all iOS 9.3.1 was released for. It doesn't change anything security-wise and all of the same exploits for iOS 9.3 will work on 9.3.1. We know he's a credible source, so we can trust this info. Remember though, he's not going to release a jailbreak. He may contribute to the release of jailbreak utilities in the future by giving anything that he has discovered over to jailbreakers, provided that he wants to. But remember, we're not going to turn to him for a jailbreak. Instead, we should turn to Taiji as well as Pangu, both of whom are known to release new jailbreak utilities. And since Pangu released the last two jailbreak utilities, we should be asking ourselves, where's Taiji? They haven't really been on the scene since the release of their iOS 8.3 and 8.4 jailbreak utility. So it is possible that Taiji could surface to release a jailbreak for iOS 9.3.1. It's also possible that Pangu could once again save the day and jailbreak the latest firmware. After all, that's why they released a jailbreak for iOS 9.1, because they didn't discover that exploit. They didn't have to waste the time creating that jailbreak, really, just updating their old tool for support with an outdated firmware. So both teams are working on new jailbreak utilities. We really won't know which one is going to jailbreak 9.3.1, however, until they do. But rest assured that 9.3.1 is still jailbreakable. It's going to be jailbroken, and it will be included by the next utility. Whether the developers intend to target iOS 9.3.1 or a subsequent release is still unknown. It depends on what Apple does, but as I've mentioned previously, Apple's going to turn their attention to iOS 10, so development for iOS 9 will start to dwindle and we won't really see any new or major iOS 9 updates, so this is the perfect time to release a jailbreak. Now, for those of you who have yet to subscribe because I'm going to keep you completely updated along the way, be sure to click the subscribe button below next to my channel name. It's also crucial if you're interested in the brand new iDevice giveaway that I have going on. Now, here's how this is going to work. I'm going to give away either an iPhone SE or an iPad Pro 9.7 inch. The choice is really up to you guys. In order to decide which of these two devices I give away, you essentially need to go to the corresponding unboxing for whichever device you want. In the comment section on said video, there will actually be a comment that you'll be required to rate up. In about a week, I'm going to pick whichever comment has the most upvotes, and that's the device I'm going to give away. Pretty simple, right? There will be more specific rules on how to enter once we've actually chosen a device, but that's step number one. So be sure to rate this video up and then navigate to the unboxing video for whichever device you want, upvote that comment, and it's as easy as that. I'll release additional info soon. Be sure to click the subscribe button, that way you won't miss out, and you'll also be notified every time I cover jailbreak related topics. Now, if you wanna be updated even more frequently, just like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter, I'm going to keep you guys completely notified as the jailbreak situation unfolds. Stay tuned, and until next time, this is ACU signing out. Join the iCrack Your Advice community on Patreon to help out the channel and to be featured in videos similar to these top contributors. Click the link on your screens now if you're on desktop or check below.